End of the term means a lot of things for different learners at different levels. For some, it is the beginning of a good time with their parents and a chance to acquire new sets of skills and have fun. But for others, it is the beginning of serious revision for another examination ahead and a loads and tons of homework. Elimun Nguvu took into looking at the role of that homework against talent nurturing, what is expected of the parents from the teachers and even from the pupils themselves, and just the teachers take where the parents get it right and how they get it wrong. Thank you very much once again for choosing KUTV tonight. You're watching Elimu Ninguvu and I'm your host Corazon Safan. Do remember to give us your feedback as you watch this episode on our SMS number which doubles up as our WhatsApp number that is 0792-766-706. Remember to also talk to us on our social media platforms. Our Facebook fan page is Elimu Ninguvu. Our Twitter handle is at underscore Elimu Ninguvu. Talk to us and enjoy the show. I'm a teacher in Nairobi Christian Academy. Nairobi Christian Academy is a full developed school. It has both preschool and primary. I teach the preschool, the preschool section. What are uh, some of the activities that you do at the preschool level in uh, molding the child? Okay. Academically, we do, we do about eight to nine activities. And in these eight to nine activities, they are they are well balanced. We focus also on the outdoor activities to help the child develop physically. And during those outdoor activities, that is when we can also be able to discover some of the talents that the kids have. Because when you discover their talents at a tender age, you're able to nurture and even advise accordingly. In Kenya, we know that we come to school to learn, to read. So is it a, an important conversation? It is very important to help uh, realize the, the talent that the child has because when you help develop that confidence in relevance to their talents, they grow knowing what they are good at, apart from the book work. Which are some of the talents that maybe you can dis uh, discover within the school uh, setup as a teacher? Okay, within the school setup, it is very easy to discover when a child is uh, good in singing. Good in singing, the child could be good in dancing. Okay, yeah, good at singing. <coughs> The child could also be good in you know, articulation and even just that self-confidence. So that helps you to give the child like opportunities for them to air their experiences out and even to explain, like give feedback as per what happens home in the school setup. Yeah, so in accordance with that, you're able to prepare the, chi the child uh, for some fields as what you're doing right mm -hmm. now. What is a talent when you're talking about talents now in children? Okay, now generally, a talent, a talent is that thing, now if we look at it in a broad perspective, it's something that I as a teacher, if I discover it in a child, I can have the interest of uh, nurturing that child to grow, that, to grow more in that area, because this is something that can actually help this child in future, mm -hmm. apart from book work, to probably put food on the table. On the table. Yes. But why is the line between abilities and talents? You know, somebody will think that twitching the eye mm. rhythmically or, uh, you know, maybe uh, being able to twist fingernails and mm. do something funny is, is also a talent. So which ones are the ones that now we call talent and others we just say these ones are special abilities and that's it? Okay, talents, as for me, I know talents are things like singing, uh, dancing, as you sit in, look at things, this is in the bigger picture. And those are the things I will forever pay. And I'll see you in a better place. Oh, how can we not talk about family or family that I... How much do you think parents should embrace these talents? I really don't know the measure to quantify, mm -hmm. but I would really urge parents to embrace talents like uh, drawing, because not every child is an A material. I'm sorry to say, as parents, we will really want all our kids to score A's. In huh? maths, especially. In, especially in, <laughs> in maths. But it is not only doctors and teachers and the engineers that make up a country, mm -hmm. you know, or even build up a nation. Mm -hmm. So if, we dis if you discover that your child is actually good in drawing and a teacher tells you that, mm -hmm. I, would as I would advise as a teacher that you as a parent take that seriously 
and help the teacher work, in, work hand in hand with the teacher mm -hmm. to discover more opportunities. What is your take um, on the emphasis on schoolwork and homework um, as, as compared to nurturing other uh, abilities in the child? The bookwork really counts because by the end of the day, the child is not going to be graded as per their talents. The yes. Eight, the 844 demands that we need some marks, mm -hmm. da, you know. And we are not yeah. going to look at We are not going to look skills. at how good you are in singing <laughs> yes, and all that, yeah. To, to so, yeah. Uh, a preschool teacher teaches, we teach based on themes. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So these themes are to help our children know their environment better. So the moment a child knows in an environment there exists, things exist that are called domestic animals, mm -hmm. there are things that are called clothes we wear. Mm -hmm. So as you teach them based on those themes, they are now the bookwork activities of writing. The moment you receive a child from home, they don't even know how to write or even put that pen on the book. Mm -hmm. So you start from scribbling stage as they grow and they are able to, now, now this is sound ah, mm -hmm. they are able to, to write. So that which you teach in class, in a week you have a theme that you cover. So we give them homework based on what is already learned in class. Mm -hmm. If today we learned sound A, ah, as much as the child was able to write it in class, I also want to assess, away from me, is the child still able to? Mm -hmm. So the role of the parent is not to hold the child's hand and help them write sound A. Ah. Unfortunately, we have, um, we have house helps, we have parents who still think that uh, the child is too small, let me do for them, the child gets tired. Mm -hmm. And so they want to fake some uh, baby and writing and do it for the child. Man, you're destroying your child. Mm -hmm. Let the child learn to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. Hmm? If in class the child was able to write it properly, and then they come at home and they show you something else, let the child come, home, come back to school tomorrow with that something else. Yeah, so, so that, that the teacher can, can actually, it. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the role of the parent is basically to give me feedback mm -hmm. as per what I gave the child. Mm -hmm. Now, schoolwork, schoolwork will remain to be schoolwork because there's a syllabus that is set to meet that. You get? Mm -hmm. Schoolwork will remain to be schoolwork. When I give homework, like I had mentioned earlier, I give based on what I have already taught the child. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to find out from this child, were they able to grasp the content? Mm -hmm. Were they able to understand? Or, you know, we have long necks. Yeah. So in class, probably this child just looked at and there's that peer learning mm -hmm. which is allowed in preschool. Mm -hmm. So is it because the, the child did it better because he or she was learning from the peers or did it come like naturally because they understood the content? That mm -hmm. is what I want to get. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow when I'm marking those books, I need to realize so and so was able to mm -hmm. understand. So and so was able to understand, but this one didn't. So I'm able to put a clear demarcation knowing that this group mm -hmm. didn't understand. Mm -hmm. So. When am I going to schedule for another time to mm -hmm. parents should actually allow their children to do the homework? Because this is the only way mm -hmm. of giving feedback, mm -hmm. like I've mentioned. Mm -hmm. It is the only way of giving feedback as to whether the child was able to understand. What about the environment that is created by the parent? Because in preschool, I, I was doing my research a little, I saw you, you give joy in the doors, mm -hmm. you give shading and all that. What kind of environment me, should be created for that to, to be successful, you know? Maybe, does it matter the sitting position? Mm -hmm. Does it matter what is happening at what point, television? Is there a particular environment that a parent needs to know the child must have for that to be achieved? Exactly. The environment really counts and it really matters. So at home, the home setting during a, during a time when the child is doing homework is very crucial. Honestly, you don't expect to produce a child whose concentration is high when this child is doing homework and there's so much distraction. There's music, there's television, mm -hmm. there are toys all over. That is a very destructive environment. Mm -hmm. So you need to help the child learn hmm? mm -hmm. that when I'm doing homework, every other thing aside in this first. You know, you're also teaching that child some order of events, mm -hmm. hmm? that one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. So you can't, you can't be having television on, there's music there, mm -hmm. there are kids playing all over, mm -hmm. the toys are there, mm -hmm. and you expect this, this is a child, mm -hmm. for Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. Let the children be children. Mm -hmm. And because you want them to be children, you're the one who is going to nurture that. Mm -hmm. From your angle as a teacher, uh, what, what is the difference between a child, academically, a child who is um, helped by the parents, 
in things like doing homework and nurturing their abilities, and one who is left alone the whole time to do things on their own and nobody really cares. Can you see a, a difference in, in terms of growth? There's a very clear difference. That child whose parent is concerned, not necessarily helping them by doing for them their homework, but that parent who is there for the child, brings the child to school, follows up on matters pertaining to the school, talks to the, ch to the child about their day. There's a very clear difference from that child with the one who is left. This is a child who will come home, come to school. Mm -hmm. Today, they have one shoelace, the other one is not on. Because nobody cares, nobody realized. Huh? Mm -hmm. well, today, on a, this week, they have a tie, next week, they don't have, you know. So what are you communicating to this child? It is okay to be responsible. Mm -hmm. It is okay to matter around, like, you do what you want at your own time. Now, is this a child who is going to grow, knowing that there are some laws that govern a country? Mm -hmm. hmm? No, most definitely. Will, yeah, more often than not, they'll be found on the wrong side of the mm -hmm. law. So the little things that we ignore as parents or even as They teachers, have an impact. They have an impact in future. And if you don't pay for them now, you will pay for them later in future. In future, by the way, that yes. is the truth. And then there is a struggle, finally. There is a struggle to get things right yes. uh, when, when probably guiding the child through homework. Mm. The struggle probably of getting the syllables right or the mm. sounds right. And definitely times have changed and a lot has evolved, you yes. know. And how is a parent supposed to stay at par with the syllabus that you're currently using? Because they too are the teachers at home, right? Yes. A parent who really wants to know, parents will, will constantly call the teacher, be a friend to the teacher who teaches your child. So can you learn with the teacher and find out, teacher, I will really want to help my child at home, so what do I do? Is it wrong for you to come and visit a school and now just find out how we articulate those sounds so that you're able to do it? Or sometimes just be humble and allow your child to teach you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just be humble. You know the problem with parents? Mm -hmm. We always want to appear like we know the child should listen. Hmm? So be humble and let the child teach you. And if you are not sure, now pick up your phone. Nowadays we are, we are, we are actually lucky we have mm -hmm. phones. Pick up your phone, call your teacher and ask, man, I'm finding this to be funny. The child is telling me, ah, boo, coo, uh -huh, boo. Uh -huh. Is it proper? And, and if the teacher tells you it's proper, then you need go to give the child a chocolate. We, we, want to, we, want to give, we want to give them a privilege. Of, of knowing at least what has changed. Yes. Just by watching this show, maybe they will have known what is it that has changed from their time mm. to our time. So maybe just give it, give them a two minutes lesson. The, uh, I know sounds have changed, so maybe we can begin from sounds. Mm. How What is the difference from what we had and what we have right now? Initially, you will be taught A, B, C, D, E, F, which every parent knows up to Z. Right now, we use the sounds. Now, the sound is the first the way you, you start pronouncing a, a, a word, if what I'm sitting on is a chair, hmm? chair. So it means the sound of this thing that I'm sitting on is it's ch. <laughs> yes, you see. Mm -hmm. Whatever I'm buying, if I have a fruit, it's a banana. Mm -hmm. huh? Banana, the first sound that starts is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you see, it is easy for the child now, as they develop, they're able to know a banana starts with sound boo, and then now the others will follow. Mm -hmm. I really don't know what magic our teachers used because you will be told B, and eventually you need to form it. No, we were sharp. <laughs> <laughs> we were sharp. So maybe let's just take it from the top. I know nowadays we used to have A for apple, but now we have A for apple, mm -hmm. B for ball, mm -hmm. Q for cat, D for dog, A for egg, for fish, G for girl, H for hat, E for ink, G for jug, Q for kite, L for leg. M for mat, N for net, O for orange, P for pot, Q for queen, R for rat, S for sun, T for tap, A for umbrella, V for van, U for watch, X as in box, E for yam, Z for zebra. Homeschooling, is it a good alternative? I, uh, both no and yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I would back it up with the if the parent has taken their initiative of going to a college and actually understanding what they need to pass down to these children, mm -hmm. I will give a clear yes. Mm -hmm. The other bit of no, whereby now my no of outweighs yes, mm -hmm. is if the, child, if, the, if the parent is just using a general knowledge of what they need, you know, that is 
post dated, you mm -hmm. know. And the other good thing, as much as the parent could have the knowledge on how to pass it down to the to the child, mm -hmm. that child's social life is very crucial. Mm -hmm. Allow them to come to school mm -hmm. so that they mingle with other children. Be beaten and beat others. Yeah, be beaten and beat <laughs> others. Learn, the, learn how life is so unfair. You mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. life is very fair in your home. Mm -hmm. but yeah, you it's, mingle, it's fair. Very fair because mm -hmm. you're protected, you're well taken care of. Mm -hmm. And now you come and meet this other person like we were saying earlier. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares at home. Mm -hmm. So what does she or he mm -hmm, care? Mm -hmm. Talk to the teachers and even the parents who have misused homework. Well... Uh, thank you very much. My, my advice for the parents in relevance to homework, like I had mentioned earlier, is please learn with the teacher, the teacher who teaches your child, and get to understand from where are they coming from. And if you feel homework was much given, like for a day, find out why all this homework, and then understand from the teacher work it out with the teacher other than neglecting the child. But as I said to the teachers, let's give homework objectively. Hmm? Like, check out what you've taught and give the child according to what they have learned and even ability. Yes. And uh, parents, again, please, 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 please stop doing the homework for the children. Let the children do what they can do. Let them start from what we call madogodhaniyo, and then eventually just find the joy of seeing your child growing from one level to another. another. Thank, you. Thank you very much, Teacher Eunice. It has been wonderful. Asante. Isn't it always amazing seeing our children in their real element, be it music and dance or simply silence? Elimu Ninguvu takes a short break, but after this break, we come to you with the three things a parent should not miss to do for and with their children during the school holidays. Stay with us.